Bill Villapiano was a speedy, gritty, old school football player. That made him a perfect fit with the Oakland Raiders of the 1970s. They were pro football's bad boys, renegades, a colorful cast of characters, and a fun fact, the only team in the league that allowed beer in the locker room. <laughs> My type of team. Now, Villapiano was one of the ringleaders of this wild bunch, and he took it upon himself to be the unofficial activities director of summer camp to break up the monotony of training camp. For example, one time he arranged for a young lady he'd met at the bar the night before to come to their practice the next day and go streaking across the field. That was well received, and that was the Raiders. They like to have fun, but they also like to win. And that's exactly what Villapiano and the Raiders did. Phil Villapiano, Bowling Green University, 1971, Senior Bowl. The Silver and Black. As one former Miami Dolphin receiver put it, when you played the Raiders, you knew you were going to get hit. Now, whether it was legal or not was another question, but you knew you were going to get hit. Phil Villapiano was one of those hitters and the heart and soul of the 1970s most intimidating defense. In the 1976 season, after years of coming up short in the postseason, the Raiders won their first Super Bowl and number 41 delivered the defensive play of the game, a crushing hit that turned the tide for the silver and black. Filippiano was a five-time Pro Bowler, two-time All-Pro, but winning Super Bowl XI he calls the greatest event of his life. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Senior Bowl Hall of Fame, Phil Villapiano. And here to present Phil with his Hall of Fame plaque is Edgar Downing, General Counsel of SPOT. Hi, <laughs> man. I hate the Broncos. <laughs> I hate the Cowboys. And I really hate the freaking Chiefs. I held myself back. I can't believe I did this guy here. Oof. <laughs> how, how about chasing this kid? This kid's good. I want to I wanna tackle you. See my quick feet? It did not break because of my quick feet. Al, linebacker's quick feet. I saved my statue. It's my girlfriend Janie over there. Hi, Janie. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm, I'm excited. I heard that radio music, Phil. I heard that radio music. Da, da, ten, da, da, ten, da, da, da. I need to hit somebody. Like, nah, I, I'm sorry. I need to hit somebody. I live to hit people. I want to hit you. <laughs> All right, man. Let's get to work. <laughs> First of all, I love Mobile, Alabama. I love being here, man. This senior pole. Hey, the boys said it. The boys said it. 
and, and, and he's going to know it as he gets a little bit older. And maybe you could play in the senior bowl. This was the kickoff, man. Wasn't it the kickoff? How about this? I'm for Bowling Green, little chumpy Bowling Green, who kicked Toledo's ass. <laughs> Toledo. I hate Toledo. I hate the Chiefs. I hate you. <laughs> Let me get back to work here. So anyway, I get invited to come to Mobile. I didn't even know where Mobile, Alabama was, man. I'm from New Jersey. I'm a New Jersey guy, and I'm in Ohio, which I hated. And then I come to Mobile, Alabama, and the athletic director says, Philly, go down there and get noticed. So you know what I did? I came down there and I tackled everybody. I tackled everybody. I don't care if you were walking in the street. I tackled you because I was drunk every night. Get ready for the game. But that's what I came down here to do. Opening kickoff. Opening kickoff. Al, opening kickoff of the senior bowl game. I am going down to break the wedge on the L1, baby. I am going to explode the wedge. You know what the wedge is? Bam, that's the four big guys. I go smash it in there. I catch the guy's elbow right in my eyeball. I go down to the ground. I get up. I have no clue where I'm at. I get into the huddle. Guy says, you all right, Phil? I'm all right, baby. I'm all right. We go three and out. We go to out. We go three and out. I go to the sideline. We have the Denver Bronco coaches as our coach, coaches. And this guy looks at me and he goes, Philly, you all right? I said, oh, man, I'm perfect. I got no, I got one eyeball open. The other one's totally gone now. He goes, good. We have no backups. <laughs> Okay, baby, I'm playing with one eye. Terminator, I'm playing with one eye, Terminator. That's my boy, Kevin Filiator from uh, Fairhope over there. Wait, wait, I got my boys here today that came, came to say hello. Where's Johnny from uh, California? I, man, you guys didn't take your time, enough time up here. I got, I'll take your time. They gave us all five minutes up here for an hour. <laughs> Anyway, how about Dan Pastorini was our quarterback. We played against Scott Hunter from Alabama, and we kicked his little ass. That's what we did. You think the South is going to beat the North when I'm involved? No way. No way, baby. Excuse me, honey. Jay, I hated you. Even though I didn't play against you, you were too young. I got Dicka. How about this? Mike Dicka's playing tight end for the Cowboys against me. I hated him too. Don't matter. Okay, so anyway, we come down to Mobile, Alabama. We get the wicked. We got guys that could never get noticed ever, ever, ever. But you had to come down here and play. And the one reason that I think I played so hard is because I came down here and we got guys from USC, Notre Dame. You guys bring on the big boys, right? They bring on the big boys. And we got this linebacker. His name was Greg Slough. He came out onto the practice field with red, white, and blue Shoes, red, white, and blue shoes. And I'm from Bowling Green, and I got lace-up things up to here, and he's got low-cut red, white, and blue. I hated him, and he's on my team. I said to myself, this is the barometer. If I don't out tackle him, I don't belong in the NFL. 
We played a game. I played the game with one eye. I told you one eye. I looked like a cyclops. I get drafted by the Oakland Raiders. We go out to we have a mini camp. We go out there. I'm number two draft pick. And guess who's number six draft pick? The red, white, and blue jerk that came to the senior bowl. He disgraced the senior bowl by coming in red, white, and blue shoes. You don't ever wear red, white, and blue shoes. <laughs> Al, did you ever have one of those guys you just wanted to kill? And he, and he was on your team. I hated him. Okay. Bottom line. <laughs> Bottom line. I got 13 years in the NFL. And guess what? If I don't come to the senior bowl, I don't get anything, man. I got to thank this town of Mobile. And I got to thank this guy over here. I got to thank the committee because the senior bowl is the place if you're a college senior and the college seniors don't even know it you come here and you play well you move on this is the greatest thing for for players and i'm so happy you continued it i didn't even know about this hall of fame are you kidding me hey man they, 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 they ever watch those guys in August, you know, this is my class, this is my class. Hey, boys, we're the class, man. We're, we're all together. We're the class here. We're the class of 2018. We'll come back here and kick anybody's ass that needs to have an ass kick in the three of us. I'll tell you what, that's us. We're, we're the class of my classmates. These guys are my classmates over here. I like that. guy here is good. Okay, man. You all right? You all right? Okay, good, man. Okay, I just want to say one more time. Thank you, Mobile, Alabama. This is the great, was the greatest experience. Came down here. I had no clue where I was going. And uh, you guys got, you kicked me off. And to bring me back here at, wait a minute, another thing. How many years have we been doing this thing? I'm almost dead. And you bring, and you bring me here at this time? <laughs> Honey, I'm almost dead. <laughs> what took you so long, Al? What took you so long? <laughs> bring, bring, bring me here when I'm alive. We're going to kick your ass this year, pal. You better, don't think you're going to go running for 400 yards in one game anymore. I am going to the Raider training camp specifically to coach against you. We hate the Chiefs. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I love being here. I love being here. Thank you so much, everybody. And you got, this is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful hall. Are you kidding? A Hall of Fame, Senior Paul Hall of Fame. One more thing, Phil. One more thing. Who's the guy in the airport? King Felix? What's this King Felix? Anybody come into the Mobile Airport lately? And you go down, they got the crown and the jewels and stuff. What am I talking about here? <laughs> I'm thinking about, show me some football players in the airport. I don't want to see crowns and jewels. I want some football players in that airport. Can we do that? Matter of fact, matter of fact, I was thinking that the three of us should definitely be in the airport starting tomorrow, tomorrow, okay? Yeah, there you go. That's what I like. 
So that I like, I want to be in a mobile airport, baby. That airport hasn't changed in 50 years since I came here in 1971. You guys ever going to get, you got any jet airplanes coming in here? Really? We need an upgrade with that airport. So tomorrow morning, I'm, I'm expecting I'm going to leave the airport and I'm going to have one of those TSA guys that made me strip because there's going to be a problem here in Mobile. I don't think so. <laughs> Honey, we okay, baby? <laughs> okay, I am now going to go back over to the other side of the table. <laughs> I love you all. Thank you. Keep it alive, baby. Bye-bye. <laughs>